Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 2009 Japanese Mailway exclusives Skids and Screech. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at them in both of their modes, help you decide how you want to display them. You can already tell that these use the Skids mould, so of course we're going to do some comparisons and see how they look compared to the original Generation 1 self. Unfortunately, I don't have Crosscut yet, so I can't do a comparison with him. But then funnily enough, for those eagle-eyed viewers and for those people who know the movie continuity, these are a little bit like a reverse homage. So because these came out in 2009, which coincided with the year Revenge of the Fallen was released, we've of course got skids from the movie. And unfortunately, I've sold my mud flap, but there's a dark and the moon one to give you an idea. So of course, we've got skids and mud flap who are green and orange in the movies. So we've got skids and Screech who are the toys. I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into the background of why they are as well but as I start to pop these back I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if you'd like to hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out. So a little bit of history with this then as I say these were released in 2009 and they were mail away, <coughs> mail away exclusive only available for Milton Publishing's Transformers Generations 2009 Volume 3. I've got all of the accessories here. Now, these are unused. Um, they just don't have the box, unfortunately. So let's have a look at everything that comes in with them. I'm not going to be putting the stickers on on this video. I'm probably going to do a video putting all the stickers of all of these Japanese exclusives that I've acquired over the last few months, to be honest. So we've got the instructions there, which I will do the transformation process because it's nice and simple. We've got both sets of sticker sheets by the looks of this. Yep, I just want to see if there's a slight colour change or difference depending on which version they are. Excuse the glare. No, they are. Oh, there is. There's a slight difference in the colour. So, yeah, maybe I will do a different video um, popping all these on. Now, all the accessories, again, are exactly the same as skids. Um, and as I say, you can see, apologies for the chrome. It's so good. The Generation 1 figures used to have exactly this. Loads of chromed weapons. So we've got a rocket launcher. We've got the blaster. I'm not going to take any of the missiles off the sprue, but I'm going to fire the missiles with uh, the ones off Skids himself, I think, just to see how they go. But these also come with these, which is, of course, again, this is a homage to the Diaclone, because the Diaclone version of these toys had these little scooters that went into the boot and now you get you see this quite a bit with the masterpiece figures but at the time these were the first figures released with these available and i'm pretty sure as i say you could just pop them into the boot i'm gonna have a look at that and see if we can work out yeah there we go in fact i can probably do it pop it into the boot like so there we go and that's exactly what you could do with the diaclone version now a little bit of a story about this again i've had to read this myself i completely admit that if you go to tf wiki there is a bit of a story here on from the henke henke generations manga so it says here that skids can basically um from different dimensions he can call upon other video or one of he can for unknown reasons he can summon other versions of himself from different dimensions so they renamed one of them screech and as it probably said just to make it a little bit easier if you want to read all that i would going to bring it closer say pause and you can read all that yourself but there's a bit of continuity and story for them as well right before we transform these here is the original which you can see, mine's a little bit battered, bless him, because he's all, yeah, because he's vintage and original, and he's suffering from things that I want to point out to you right now. So you need to be aware of this. If you're after, I suppose, any vintage G1 figures, or especially Diaclone, that the tyres are all rubber, so they can perish away. As you can see, there's chrome on these and on the weapons, so they can, of course, easily be damaged. And the thing is, a lot of these have metal parts, so these have got die-cast bonnets hoods or what they're going to call them bumpers um, and indeed quite a few parts i'm just kind of check underneath here yeah you can see the color scheme differences etc right let's have a go at transforming these um, i don't think they've been done so what i in fact what i'm going to do because they feel yeah i'm going to carefully transform these i think just off camera because they've definitely not been transformed before they feel very very stiff so we're going to come back in a second to keep the main length of the video day and we're going to see them both in their alternate mode right so i've transformed skids and i suppose i did promise i was going to do the transformation on camera so i've had a quick go with this just to make it a little bit more manageable so what we're going to do we're going to open up the doors this will help things out straight away and then we're going to take this you can see this is going to be his legs so and nice and carefully 
fold it out these definitely hadn't been transformed before so i'm really glad i did it carefully off camera first fold these down separate the legs these should come right out there like so you can then fold the wheels underneath like this then we need to bring the arms which of course are on these tires and wheels right out the way and then you can fold the front over that should clip in and then make sure the windshield is out the way and then we can bring the head out as well and drop this over into position so right this does take a bit of straightening up you can see um, i probably shouldn't have done the transformation but it's done now right so this needs to be turned around and as i say you would normally stick a sticker over there now you can tell as well you can turn the orientation around in his fist like so and let's turn the fist around as well and just clip that in so we've got them both now there they are in their robot modes and i really like this mold it's super basic but again you've got to appreciate as i say this is 40 years old now because it was diaclone beforehand and it still suits it still fits its purpose right i'm going to bring in skids and i've got to do something else slightly different as well i said i was going to show you the difference uh, between the firing mechanisms the reason for this is i've got skids is there in, my, in the american ones if you have a look most of them don't even have springs like this now the other thing as well is unfortunately all of my skids missiles including that one are on a sprue so for obvious reasons i'm not going to take them off however you can just use any one you want to do. but with this because there's no spring of course it doesn't do anything whereas in japan they have different toy laws and licenses and you can pop in one and it will fire sometimes with quite a bit more venom like obviously if i was to put that little missile in it would go quite a bit further but i just wanted to show you that as well so that's one of the main differences between um the us and the japanese uh toy uh, as i say laws and standards shall we say so the rest of these accessories you know what? i'm going to pop them on because i'm not going to transform them again i'm going to put them onto display after this so we can slide the gun down in the front you can also see just i suppose how good a homage they are with the masterpiece so if i just get this guy this is my cross cut version i've realized i've got him so the masterpiece was just a brilliant Oh, look at all the blue windows reflecting back there. It's perfect. Um, again, really like this model. like the Masterpiece version as well. We can take these guns. We can pop them on like so. This one goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah. They just sort of slot in. Is it going to stay? Probably not because I just wanted it to. Got to turn the fist around. Let's try that. No, nope, it's going to come. Oh, it just needs to slot on there. I, again, I'm going to have to do this because I don't want to be too rough. Oh, there we go. That one stayed there. So let's mix it up. Let's put the other way around on this. In fact, I don't really need to. You can already see them there with the with the accessories. The main point of this is just to see the differences. So the head sculpt is the same. Everything's the same. It's just a completely different deco. And as I say, when I get to put in um these stickers on this they will look vastly different so metal parts are still the same on the front um, and indeed on the back of the vehicle plastic parts again are the same <laughs> these arms have just fold fold down due to due to age and now i've knocked that off as well i think to be honest though there's not much more to say about these guys um they are quite sought after as i say they are japanese exclusive mailaways you're looking for skids and screech if you're after these for your collection yourself um you might get away actually with searching for orange and green skids they might come up as well but in the meantime uh, these were the two well these are the 2009 japanese exclusive mail away figures skids and screech hope you enjoyed looking at them guys let me know in the comments take care